So Ricky, congratulations on the results today. How happy with your scoreline? Oh, you've got to be happy with the scoreline, obviously. Um, it's uh, a tie that I expected us to win. Um, and it was just, for me, it was about how convincingly that we went and done the, the job at hand. Um, and I was, I was more than pleased with the, the final outcome and the amount of goals and from the different types of goals and areas that we scored as well. So that was important for the boys. We worked quite hard. They're a great group to work with. I said that before. Um, we worked hard this week on, on various different aspects of our game. And uh, today we saw that. And one of our aspects was you know getting bodies in the box, etc. And we've seen that from even the, the couple of scrappy goals that we had that dropped down to ourselves and we managed to score. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. So obviously a lot of great individual performances today. It'd be difficult to pick out too many of the players because we could probably go for the whole team. But Patrick, today for Matty Collins, we spoke with him after the game there and he seemed really happy with his... Yeah, well, it, he should again. be not just with his goals but with his, his link-up play. He's a very clever player. He's got real, real quality, does Matty. He's still young, you know, and you, you've got to remember that as well. Um, so he's done his chances, no harm at all um, about staying in the, into the team and that was a good opportunity for guys like Matty to go and do that and he really seized the opportunity. I thought he was a, he was a handful within the game, forgetting about his goals, his dribbling and his connection to the strikers etc and he's worked down the side so I'm really pleased with Matty. Mm -hmm. And then sort of touched on it briefly there but now that you have all these players coming in performing does it give you a bit of a difficult decision to make? Is it a decision you want? Obviously, yeah. Yeah, but it's a decision you want in the back of a win. But the um, I've had this decision since we started, really, and like I keep saying, we're a we're a we're a work in progress. There's no getting away from that fact. There's, there's like even today, there's things, of course, we can get better at. Uh, but it was important that we won and we won well today. Uh, and no disrespect to, to St Cuthbert's, but uh, that was an opportunity for us to go and win convincingly. We've done that. Um, but in terms of headaches, I and it's up to the players though. It's up to the players to go when they get the, the, the opportunity to play, to go and take that opportunity and make sure that they're not out of the team, that, that they're not an easy sub for me to go and make. Um, good to get Jack McDowell minutes from the park as well, obviously. He's, he's been out for a long time. Yeah, so you mentioned that as well later on in the game. You managed to give a few, other, a few of the boys a few more minutes, maybe haven't been involved quite so much. Are you happy to be able to you know, get them in? Involved? Yeah, well, they've all been working really, really hard and this is the most difficult part of the job because we've got quite a big squad, there's quite a lot of young young players as well. Uh, but For example, Robbie Stewart was waiting patiently for an opportunity, he came in and I thought he'd done really, really well. He's composed on the ball, defending when he had to defend, um, but other players game time as well. But obviously, certainly there'll be Blair and Aidan, Aidan's played loads, he was also quite tight, so I left him out. I said I didn't want to risk him. I wanted him to be available for, for Tuesday and Friday. Um, Blair obviously done well when he's came in as well, uh, but I wanted to get Adam on the park, so I could only make five subs um, for the three stoppages. So uh, it was good to get those guys on, but there was other ones on the side as well, you know, not not included today, but spoke to them. They understand, so they know they're all part of it. They know they're, they know they're wanted here, uh, and it's about them understanding that and saying, right, okay, I need to, I need to come out here, perform, do my best uh, to get into the team. And then you mentioned him briefly already, but Jack McDowell, how happy we to see him back on and a testament to the hard work he's put in over the last, I think, 10 months. Yeah, well, Leanne's back. done really, really well. Leanne's very good at rehab stuff and uh, he worked hard. I would have liked him back a little bit sooner, but um, Jack's an important part of the team because he's been here for, for a while. He knows he knows the kind of DNA, if you like, of the, the team and also the club. Um, and Jack's got a good opportunity now, if he keeps injury free, to go and kick on. Um, and go and keep playing, go and doing his, doing his best he possibly can to, to improve himself. Um, but yeah, I'm de delighted for him. On a personal note, you know, Jack's worked with me for a long time now, and you know he's been suffering recently with that injury for a while, and it almost felt like he was never going to get back. But great to see him in, in, the, in the, the first team today. And then today, obviously, we go back into the league action pretty soon. But last season, the cups were. Important to us as well, we ended the season with a cup victory. How important are the, are the Cubs to you? Every game's important. We obviously won one of the Cups that the Southern Counties put on. We got to the semi-final of that particular Cup. And we want to do the same, we want to replicate that. It's a good opportunity to go and get more games. Obviously we've got a big squad, so it's a chance for, for um, players to get game time as well. So every game's important. You've got to win games. It's about winning games. We want to win every game. Uh, we've done that today. And, um, uh, we're into Civil on Tuesday. Yeah, you mentioned into Civil on Tuesday and then Hearts on Friday. It's a busy week coming up, but 
how much confidence can the lads take from today's performance and result, of course? Well, several going to be a different game, but we should take confidence. They should take confidence in the fact the amount of chances they created, but also some of the football they played. They played with a calmness that I've not seen uh, in our play. I thought we were a bit nervy at, at times, but I think we've got that out of our system now. Um, we've got to take that into civil. Civil do what they do very well, and they've got a manager who knows what he's doing. Uh, so we'll need to come, like I said to them in there, come with your, with your, work, with your working hats on and get ready to go and um, win this game on Tuesday. It's, uh, it's important that we do that. Well, thank you for your time and we look forward to seeing you in the week. Cheers, man. Bye. Right. Thanks.